Hi viewers, we have Dr. Sri Ram Devnathan, Chairperson, Department of Chemical Engineering, Amrita School of Engineering, Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam, Etimade Coimbatore. Welcome to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. You would have heard people saying knowledge is power. <laughs> knowledge is power. Yes. In fact, this was said by one Dr. Francis Beckham as early as 400 years back. Yes. But today I feel knowledge alone is not power. Knowing the future is more powerful than knowledge is power. It is my personal feeling. Why? Because of the development that you see in technology in terms of transformation and advancement, <coughs> what our students go through in the second semester by the time they reach the fourth or the fifth semester, what they learned becomes redundant and obsolete. So under the circumstances, knowing the future of our students, knitting the requirements maybe after 10 years or 15 years, bring it today into the curriculum of ours and then teach them what they require after 10 years rather than teaching them what they require immediately. Do you do that in your department of researching the requirements of the future, bringing it now, teaching our students, prepare them for the future? Over to you, sir. Absolutely. I would say there are two parts to this uh, answer. One is that there are certain concepts that are time-tested and time-proven and, and they are things that constitute the foundation of engineering and also partly in chemical engineering. Yes, so in that sense, I would say that uh, maybe there, there may be a couple of textbooks. Uh, let's say my father was a chemical engineer. He's not, but let's say he was. Uh, one or two textbooks that he might have had, I would also have had and maybe a current student also may have because these are very fundamental core uh, concepts. And uh, unless there's a revolutionary uh, transformation of these core concepts, uh, for example, going from uh, particle theory to string theory or something, like, if there is some complete change in our paradigm, then it makes sense. But otherwise, certain things will carry on. But the question in terms of predicting what comes in future and then aligning our curriculum with that, absolutely, we do look at that. And uh, today, it's recognized that the corporate world is moving towards Industry 4.0. And so this revolution is something that we have to take seriously. It's going to integrate the cyber physical systems where it brings in IoT and it brings in sensor technologies, brings in artificial intelligence and so on. This is going to embrace uh, all aspects of manufacturing. And so the chemical engineering world should not be and cannot be left behind in this industry 4.0 revolution. Therefore, we have to align our curriculum to the needs of industry 4.0 or I4.0. And the way we do that is that Number one, we have to bring in the computer science aspects into our curriculum. We have to bring in the mathematics aspects into the curriculum. So what we do is in the core courses and in the math mathematical courses, so for example, the mathematical courses, we bring in the chemical engineering application, we bring in the software aspect, and we, we bring in aspects of industry integration of the chemical engineering concepts. And so this is done at each subject level, at each course level. Now, this is continued. We understand that uh, our students have many different learning styles. So what we try to do is uh, one single method, which let's say the classroom lecture, simply doesn't cut it. So we give them a little bit of flexibility in terms of peer-based learning. Students get to work in projects. So there are courses which are entirely project-based. And these are not just the final year capstone projects, but things which are in between as well. And then we, we make sure that we bring in a lot of multimedia resources that are available out there so that the students are also encouraged to find diverse perspectives rather than just listen to one teacher who may or may not have had a breadth of experience. So these are some of the ways in which we make sure that uh, we are aware of the trends that are out there in the uh, manufacturing sector in the chemical engineering world. And what we do is we bring in the uh, industry representatives as well as topmost academicians into our board of studies so that whenever we have curriculum design, uh, curriculum revision, these members from the industry and from the academic world, from top institutions are part of our board of studies and they help in designing the curriculum, uh, keeping in mind the trends in chemical engineering. So doctor, can I say to the viewers that uh the curriculum as such in the Department of Chemical Engineering in Amrita School of Engineering is something special and unique to our viewers. Can I say that way? Uh, 
there are many things which others don't have, which is all industry-centered. Uh, can I say in that fashion? Absolutely. In fact, uh, I remember a comment from a professor from IIT Bombay. He said, you guys are so incredibly lucky. Because even being in IIT, they said they have several restrictions in terms of how they can design and structure the All curriculum. Right. They said, you being a private university, you have a lot more freedom. So you have a free hand to do have a free what hand. is best for our students. In fact, they were the excited. Absolutely. Yeah. They were excited that they could participate in this brainstorming and in the design of this curriculum, even though they don't uh, always get to design it that way. But they are happy that somebody is able to do it that way.